Hi, I'm James, and the problem I've been tasked with solving is the Math C matrices and applications uh, commuter preference problem. To start this off, I'll show you the problem. I'll put an image of it up here. So we need to solve this problem by using Markov chains. <clears throat> the Markov chains look like this. If we use our variables of cars, uh, bus, and train passengers, this is our long-term distribution. This is equal to our transition matrix, M, and we want to put this to the power of 50 or any arbitrary large number that ensures that this matrix converges. We do a check later on to ensure that it does converge, but really it can be any large arbitrary number. So this matrix is a transition matrix and tells us how the state is changing from each time period. We then multiply that by the initial state. Of the total percentage passengers that fall under car, bus and train. Uh, the first step then is to find the initial state. We're, giving, we're given the passengers under each modes of transport, but uh, not the total percentages. So we need to calculate that and that comes out to be 26% um, use the car, 31% uh, of passengers take the bus and 43% take the train. So we just use some simple arithmetic to calculate that. Um, and that is our initial state. The transition matrix we're given in the problem outline and that looks something like this. Now what this means, I'll just uh, annotate this quickly. But to explain this a little bit more, I hope you can see that. Uh, it means basically how the conditions are changing or what modes of transport the passengers are moving to. So under here we have car and car. It, it means that 80% of the passengers who originally take the car continue to take the car as their mode of transport. It means that 10% of those original car passengers have moved to taking the bus and then another 10% have moved to taking the train. Same for the bus. 10% of the bus passengers since the initial state have moved to taking the car, 65% um, remain on the bus and 25% have started taking the train. So that's how the conditions of this problem are moving over each time period. Now to do M50, we can just calculate this um, and we get an answer of 0.33. So that's our converged uh, matrix. I've done the check for this to make sure it's converged and all we need to do is check if M equals M to the power of 51. If it does, which this does, then it's converged and we can continue moving forward with the problem. So now the last step is to solve the problem. I'll just clean this up so I can show you how that's done. So now to solve the problem, we just substitute in that transi transition matrix and it looks like this. <laughs> now we multiply out the matrix and we're all done. So it's simply percentage car passengers equals 0 0.33 times 0 0.26 here and here plus 0 0.33 times 0 0.31 plus 0 0.33 times 0 0.43. So we find that the total car passengers comes out to be around 0 0.33 or 33%. And if we take that over the total, then we get uh, 2.5% 
2,400 car passengers as the long-term distribution. Using the same technique, we find that um, bus passengers comes out to be roughly 10% or uh, 700 passengers. And the train passengers comes out to be 4,060 or 57%. So that's solving a long-term distribution problem using a Markov chain.